Hello, and today we play Sonic the Hedgehog CD. I'm Jay Vortex, and this is episode 1. We're going to be starting a record as Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm going to use the US soundtrack, so enjoy the intro with Sonic Boom. And that was the ever popular intro that so many know and love. Of course, if you prefer the Japanese intro, I did record that and will probably show it in Tails' playthrough since he doesn't have an opening or an ending and I'll be using the Japanese soundtrack when I play through his Tails. Anyways, I'm going to collect at least 50 rings so that I can Get the special stage ring to appear at the end of the stage. So I can go to the special zone for a chance to acquire one of the ever important time stones. There are seven of them, like there are chaos symbols. Though interestingly enough, before Sonic 2 and Sonic 1, there are only six chaos symbols, but since this game was after Sonic 2, you could say that they made the number of time stones 7, even though there is no Super Sonic, uh, be 7, so it could be like the castle. I think that was how it was, and I just destroyed a Melisonic holograph. Yay me! But yeah, this is Palm Tree Panic Zone, and I'll be going throughout this entire zone, all three of its acts, within this episode. And that's how I'm going to be doing it for the rest of the episodes. One zone per episode. That means that this playthrough will be pretty short because, if I recall, there are about seven zones. Or eight. Uh, not entirely sure on the exact number. And as you may have noticed, all the bad nicks in this game are based on insects for some weird reason. I just destroyed a robot machine generator. At least I think that's what that machine is. And already I've entered the special zone. Because I have 65 rings and that was the golden ring at the end of the stage. That appears if you have at least 50 rings. And I made a good future too. Awesome. So here's the special stage. Or also known as the special zone. If you go into the war, you lose, I think, 20 seconds of time, and if you hit the spikes, you get slowed down and lose rings, and waste time, basically. So, your goal here is to destroy the UFOs within the time limit, and once you've destroyed them all, you will acquire a time stone. If you fail to get them all and run out of time, You'll be booted out without any rewards, other than I guess you do get rewarded for what score you manage to achieve from breaking UFOs, but I actually can't remember if you do get a score tally 
uh, reward for failing. I know that it does tally your score that you achieve for winning, but regardless, if you're low on time, a uh, UFO that is blue with red lights on it will appear, which was right over there, to give you more time if you actually destroy it. It gives you 30 seconds if you destroy it, I believe. And there's my first time stone. It's the green one. Awesome. The time stones, I believe, are the same colors as the chaos emeralds. They're very similar to the chaos emeralds, really. However, unlike the chaos emeralds, even though there are seven time stones, Sonic cannot transform once he has all seven. There is no Super Sonic in Sonic CD. Funnily enough, if you use debug mode, there is a, a monitor that has S on it. You would think that would turn you to Super Sonic, but all it does is make you invincible, I think infinitely, because it's different from the invincibility monitor, but this monitor does not appear in actual gameplay, and it's nowhere in any of the actual levels. You have to spawn it only through debug mode. I won't be showing that off. Anyways, um, that was kind of bullshit. I got sprung up to the enemy and lost my ring, so now I have to start over from two rings to collect 50 rings. At least 50 anyways. Of course, um, I was able to get a few rings back, which is why I said two and not zero. And this stage is actually the most forgiving in terms of rings and object placement. Throughout the game, the stages get a lot more bullshit. How should I? Well, that's how I should probably put it. Yes. Ah, uh, don't even get me started about wacky workbench or co uh, collision chaos or um, metallic madness. Collision chaos is too bad, actually. That's the second stage in the game, I believe. But it has bumpers and um, glass bubbles that you have to break. And one key mechanic of Sonic CD, obviously, is the time travel mechanic. After you hit a time sign, you'll have the icon for it at the bottom of the screen, which means that you can activate time travel. If you run for like three seconds at Sonic's top speed without slowing down or hitting anything like a blockade or uh, touching anything that would in otherwise interrupt with your time travel. And once you get close to the end of the stage, that also disables time traveling I believe once you're close to the goal. So there are a few things that can prevent you from time traveling entirely. But here's the goal, and I've gotten to the second special stage, so I can try to get the second time stone. Now, obviously, the plot of Sonic CD is kind of bare bones in terms of gameplay, because all you get is the animated intro, which doesn't tell you much, but this game does have a story. Sonic has decided to adventure to Little Planet to uh, check it out because it only appears one month every year, I believe, or one day out of every month. One something out of something, basically. It only appears occasionally and he wanted to check it out. Amy used her tarot card reading, which is apparently a habit she has, even though that habit doesn't seem to carry over into any of other Sonic game. They completely forgot that she likes mystic things like tarot card reading apparently. Oh well, it would be interesting if they brought back that habit and used it in terms of plot convenience somehow. But there's my second time stone. It's orange or I guess red somewhere in between there. But yes, um... Amy used her tarot card reading to predict that Sonic would be at Little Planet, so she followed him there and met him there. And Sonic 
found out that when he already got there, Eggman had encapsulated it in a metal uh, encasing, basically, uh, turning it into his own robot planet, you could say, to take over it, and he is after the Time Stone and wants to get them at any cost he can in order to basically use the time stones to alter time and create Eggman Land, which is what happens if you go to the future before obtaining a good future from either destroying the Metal Sonic Hologram, the machine, or getting a time stone. So far, I've done all three things, so I'm creating good futures. So I don't have to worry about bad futures, but basically it gives you a glimpse of Eggman Land. Eggman turning the world into a robotic paradise for himself. Speaking of Robotnik, this is a boss stage, and he's coming down in his most ridiculous machine yet. This machine is completely useless if you know how to deal with it, which is go completely right to the edge of the screen and camp him like that. And, of course, at the end of these stages, you have to destroy those machines to make flowers grow. So, Sonic is basically saving nature and destroying technology. Gee, that's sure cool. Anyways, see you guys next episode!